Am I in this picture? No. Why? Because you don't take horse pictures with me. Okay. So I just have a few <laughs> questions. First of all, how many of you have ever rode a horse? And how many of you are scared of them? A lot of people find them intimidating. They're really not. So I'm going to convince you why everyone should ride horses, or at least touch their fuzzy little hairs, because they're pretty amazing animals. So, funny little title here, Save the Cowboy Ride a Horse, because they're way more fun and less complicated. <laughs> Riding horses is really good for the mind and body. So it, first of all, is really great for the body, because it's an isometric exercise, which is good for any age. Children, older people, it's really amazing. Um, it, it works your muscles very lightly, but it tones them up and makes you very flexible, which helps you age better, of course. And it's really great for the mind because there's a lot of therapeutic writing to start off with. I am actually, I take part in the step group that is here locally, and we do a lot of, you, like, you don't necessarily have to have a disease or Down syndrome or anything. You can just ride because you want to in this group. But we also do therapeutic riding with kids who are mentally challenged. And it's amazing to see what it does for them. I actually have an aunt with cerebral palsy. And I've rode horses with her since I was little. I'm very blessed to say that I have always had horses growing up. I've had horses since I was born. My first horse I barely remember. I and My family always has horses. I think right now we have like 24 or so. Um, my aunt, she has always rode with us and it helped her because when you have cerebral palsy your hands contract and your legs you eventually lose function when you have it bad enough and she did. But riding kept those muscles going and it helped her because it kept her so happy. She loved horses. And it's a stress reliever. I know and I'm stressed out. I just go home and vent to my horse and I know he's not going to tell anybody. So how not stressful is that. It's so nice. And who doesn't like to just go out in the trails and relax in the woods? And that picture that was there was actually me with a few step kids. Um, another great thing about riding horses is there's a lot of other people that also ride horses and you can make so many new friends. This is me with the rodeo club and I only know two of these girls going into the club and we all became friends and we still all talk even though I'm no longer in the rodeo club. So that's a really great aspect of horses. Um, I will be walking through the grocery store and I'll have someone walk up to me and I'll be like, hey, are you the one that rides the big paint horse? And we start a conversation and we're like, oh, hey, give me your number. Maybe we'll go riding sometime. And it's just a really good social way to get out there. Okay, so there's lots of different styles of riding. I personally like to rodeo or a moxie. I like faster pace, more intense. Um, there's showing where you have different classes, like Western Pleasure or Halter classes. Um, those I'm not really into. It's very slow, it's really technical, and you're just being judged the whole time. And I get bored but there's a lot of people that do that around here. And then there's just riding out on the ranch where you're with your cows, you're checking your fences. Um, my papa is the main ranch hand on the ranch over in Emerald Creek. I don't know if all of you see all of those cows out there. There's like 2,000 of them. I ride with them all summer. And that can be pretty fun, but it is pretty demanding on the horse because you're out there every single day. And then there's rodeos and amoxies. So the little bit of a difference between a rodeo and a moxie is that a rodeo, there's rough stock and roping. Um, at a moxies, it's all just pattern speed events where they set up a pattern, you do it as fast as you can, and then your time, and if all of the poles or properties are still standing, then you keep your time. And I like that because I just, I like to go fast. But rodeos are also fun because you get to see the bull riders and the steer wrestlers. And that's really interesting. And then there's show jumping. That's pretty fun. It's really hard. <laughs> it, it, it takes a lot of like perfect posture to be able to jump as high as some of these horses jump. And then there's trail riding, which I do a lot to condition my horse and just, just the relief stress really, because it's nice to be out in the woods. And then there's English riding, which is super uncomfortable. I hate it. A lot of people love it. You sit in a saddle that's like this big, and your feet are all jacked up, and there's nothing to hang on to. 
and you just do what the judge tells you to around the ring. And I don't like it, but a lot of people really love English. And that's not even all the styles. There's a ton more. That's just what's the most common around our area. <clears throat> so here, you know, I have to be a little prejudiced. Horses can go a lot more places than dirt bikes and four-wheelers. Um, horses are a lot of fun because you can go up any brush trail, whereas when you're on a four-wheeler or a side-by-side -side or something, you can't fit up that brushy trail. You're going to have to go around on the road. You don't get to go up the fire trail. And you can go up steeper mountains and hills, whereas the dirt bike or the four-wheeler might roll. Your horse is just going to slide on their butt right down the mountain. And when you get to a deep river, your horse will swim right through it. Your dirt bike's going to drown. So it's just kind of a funny thing. I've always had a rivalry with the dirt bikes. And it's better for the environment. You're not putting out bad fumes. You're putting out a little fertilizer at the most. It's, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's really easy on the environment. And I personally don't like mowing lawns, so I just let my horse out, and that's helpful, too. And then you're not worrying about catching fires during the hot summers. So these are all great reasons why we should all ride horses. I have ridden horses all my life. And if any of you really want to ride a horse, just contact me and I'll let you. Can get you in the step group. Mm -hmm. That's all I have for you. Mm -hmm.